Files reported yesterday, San Francisco's Archbishop Salvador Cordillon is calling on all Catholics to pray and fast for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Speaker Pelosi, who is a Catholic, told EWTN News Nightly, quote, God has given us all free will. She continues to support pro-abortion legislation. Archbishop Cordillon says a child in the womb is a human being. We see that those who aggressively support abortion, so-called abortion rights, they know that they're wrong because when they're asked a simple, straightforward question about life in the womb, they won't answer it. The archbishop says that it is a spiritual battle, adding Catholics should fast and pray the rosary to jar the consciousness of pro-abortion supporters. Abortion is a satanic ritual. So this, this is very satanic, what is happening with this, this widespread abortion, They're almost unregulated. Archbishop Cordillon says we need God's mercy and grace now more than ever. And joining us now for further analysis is Dr. Paul Kengor, professor of political science at Grove City College. Dr. Kengor, great to see you. Always good to be with you. Uh, you recently wrote Thank an you. article for our sister publication, the National Catholic Register, which addressed what you called Speaker Nancy Pelosi's faulty theology on free will and abortion. You wrote, quote, of course God has given us free will, but explicitly not to be used in this way. Talk to us more about that and what the church teaches. Well, yeah, thank you, Tracy, and kudos to Eric Rosales for, for asking that question to Nancy Pelosi. So here you have one week after Pope Francis, for the umpteenth time, referred to abortion as murder and akin to, a, to hiring a hitman to solve a problem. One week after that, Nancy Pelosi put forward what the USCCB called the most radical abortion bill of all time and which her bishop, Archbishop Coeur d'Alene, as, as he said there, called it not only diabolical, heinous, evil, but said that the bill was, was, akin, was akin to child sacrifice. But she put forward this bill anyway. It is the most radical abortion bill probably in American history, and it passed by a vote of 218 to 211. Every single Democrat in the House, with, with one exception only, voted for it. Um, all the Republicans voted against it. It was a strict party-line vote. And when asked about this by, by Eric, Nancy Pelosi said, look, you know, when it comes to family planning and timing to a woman's reproductive rights, a woman's you know, right to choose, God has given us a free will, as she said. And, and of course, Tracy, what's so upsetting about this, distressing about this, is that this is categorically not a, a Catholic or a Christian's understanding of free will. You know, the Catechism says, you know, the Bible says, thou shalt not kill. Deuteronomy says, I have laid before you a choice between life and death. Choose life. You know, we, we believe that we were given a free will to choose good, not evil. And it's really sad that a lifetime professing Catholic, as high up as Speaker of the House, doesn't seem to understand that. Yeah, very concerning, that's for sure. You know, I know that you describe, quote, the scandal of Catholic politicians pushing pro-abortion policies, and, and it's not limited to Speaker Pelosi. I mean, you also mentioned Catholic New York Governor Kathy Hochul, who's been very vocal recently and even urged women from Texas to go to her state to get abortions. I want to talk to you about that, you know, what that signals to the faithful, and also what do you think church leaders should do in these instances? As we know, Archbishop Cordelion has been very vocal yeah, in, in fact, Tracy, that's what's getting even worse about it, is they seem to be getting more aggressive, um, more militant about it, more belligerent about it. There was a, um, a congressman in California who said, I dare the bishops to, to, to say I can't have the Eucharist, right? And uh, Nancy Pelosi had said a few months ago, I think I will make the decision on that, whether, whether or not I receive the Eucharist. And Kathy Hochul, who, who succeeded Governor Cuomo in New York, who we, who we already knew was really bad in abortion, she has stepped forward in light of this abortion bill in Texas, this heartbeat bill, and said, come to New York. Women of Texas, come to New York. She even said, Tracy, that she will help arrange transportation to get them to New York, you know, which is explicitly for, forbidden in, in, in the catechism, the idea of helping somebody procure an abortion. I mean, this incurs excommunication. The, 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 the catechism is, is very straightforward in this. And then in addition, you have Joe Biden, who's the Catholic president of the United States, saying that he's going to throw the whole weight, the entirety of the federal government, his best lawyers and HHS and the Justice Department to try to overturn what Texas has done. So this is really scary. 
scandalous. Right? And, and Governor Newsom as well in California. I think we're looking at a situation right now, Tracy, and this is quite horrifying, where those advancing the most radical abortion policies in America at the state level and the federal level are all Catholic. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it should have never come to this, but, but it has come to this. And I, I don't know if the bishops can put a stop to it now or not. It may well be too late. Yeah, Dr. Kangor, I got to tell you, so much more we can talk about, but unfortunately, we have to leave it right there. Thank you so much for your analysis. Always great to have you on. Thanks, Tracy. Take care.